everyone. Last Saturday was my lucky day. I was visiting my relatives and saw a poster of orchid show taking place in Chinatown on the way. I rushed to the place like a mouse in a cheese factory. <laughs> the orchid show was very small, but various orchids were displayed. And my trip was ended up with a big smile on my face and these three orchids in my hands. What an unexpected lucky day, right? As you see, I already repotted these two, this one and this one, because their roots were in terrible condition. Repotting is very simple, but I will show you briefly because it's related to my Orchid BBA project. But before getting to that, let's take a look at my new Orchid first. This is my Tolumnia. These Tolumnia flowers are generally very small, are famous for wonderful colors and very easy growing. Some are potted in a clay pot or mounted like mine. I put this one in the glass vase in order to water less. <laughs> All I do is just to pour water down here a little bit and then to let the wooden slab deliver all the water to up to the roots. It seems working, but if this organ needs watering more than two times a week, I think I will pot it like these two. <laughs> it came with this flower spike and with four buds. So we'll see the flowers soon. Yay! I'm sorry for shaking. Here it is. Uh, the next one is this Rincolelia Dickbiana. The color of this flower isn't striking at all, but the thread-like lips, wow, such a wild, unique lip. As well as the lemony fragrance that releases at night, like Brassavola orchids. No wonder this Rincorelia used to be in Brassavola family. I can't wait to smell it, really. <laughs> Mine has no sign of previous flower spike, so I guess it's a fairly young plant. Bad news is all the old roots rotted. Literally, zero roots left. Do you see this wobbly? Yes, very wobbly. Good news is, as you see, the new roots at the bottom are emerging nicely. Hopefully, it helped this plant to pick up the speed of recovery. Let's move on to the next one. Last but not least, Phalaenopsis species, Bellina. I think Bellina is probably one of the most famous Phalaenopsis species, known for beautiful, lovely flowers and fragrance. Many orchid lovers already have at least one or will have one. This Bellina doesn't look good visually as you see. There are a lot of damages on the leaves and the color is very, hmm, doesn't look healthy. <laughs> Even though it looked way worse than this at the show, but I had to buy it because it became very special to me personally. This wasn't the first time I saw this exact same one at the orchid show. I had seen it twice already on the same vendor's table at the previous two orchid shows. Nobody's wanted it during these orchid shows. When I saw it a third time, I felt very so sorry for this orchid. I thought to myself, okay, this orchid belongs to me. <laughs> Three times are charm, right? So I got it and repotted it right away. Here is the repotting process of my special Phalaenopsis Bellina. All I need is Bellina, a pail for old medium, dry bark chips and polite, moist sphagnum moss not wet, and my BBA pot with holes around the top for more air circulation. Now I'm all set. I pulled out of the pot to see the old medium. This medium seems pretty fresh. I guess the vendor repotted it not too long ago for sale. <laughs> then let's unveil the roots. 
Wow, holy moly. It is so sad to see these rotting roots. All the roots are gone. Hmm. But these few green roots are promising. The only hope for Belina. Let's give her a new home. I will use half of bark chips and half of sphagnum moss for potting medium. Belina tends to grow the leaves frontwards, so I'll place it all the way back of the pot so it gets more room to grow forward. Now here it is, the reborn Belina. Hopefully I can nourish them well and help them thrive in my care. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!